This is Alice. Alice is a sophomore, and she needs to pick her major. She doesn't know what to choose. She likes computer science and psychology equally, but her friends tell her that she should not go for computer science because mostly boys take computer science, so it can be hard for girls. Instead, she should go for psychology because lots of girls succeed in psychology. She thinks her friends are just being sexist because they see her as a girl. Then the great idea occurred to her that she can run a recommendation algorithm to help her decide because she can hide gender information from the algorithm. Then this can prevent the program from discriminating based on gender. Will this work? Can she really trust the algorithm to be fair? Let's first discuss the idea of fair recommendation. Take a task to predict ratings from one to five as an example. One popular and intuitive definition of fairness is parity, which evaluates fairness on the discrepancy among average predicted ratings across groups. For example, we have four students, and we want to predict their preference for computer science. Olivia dislikes computer science, but Nancy, Jordan, and Mark all like it. But if we want parity, these ratings appear unfair because the average predicted score of the women is three stars, while the average for men is four. To make the recommender fair, we'd have to force some predictions to change. For example, arbitrarily raising Olivia's prediction to four stars. This can jeopardize accuracy. For example, Olivia may be recommended computer science classes when she'd rather have a career in psychology. So we propose another type of fairness evaluation based on the prediction error. To respect individual and group differences, our goal is to treat everyone equally well, since forcing everyone to be equal is not desirable. In the same example, if an algorithm predicts these star ratings for our four students, then the average rating for men and women is both 3.5. But there is a lot more error in the predictions for the women than for the men, so this prediction is not fair by our definition. The cool thing about this unfairness definition is that it doesn't conflict with accuracy. A recommender can be fair and accurate at the same time. Imagine a recommender that perfectly predicts user preferences with no error. Then it is also a perfectly fair recommender because the average prediction error is zero among all groups. Okay, now that we have defined this type of fairness, we go back to answer the question: Are recommenders fair? The answer is no. In our paper, we show experiments on matrix factorization, where we find that unfairness increases as the population gets more imbalanced. So the algorithm falls into the same trap as human biases. Even though gender information is not provided, the algorithm is able to learn latent features correlated with gender because of the existing biased behavior patterns. Then how do we fix it? We adapted a straightforward method of adding fairness metrics as a second term to the objective function and optimize them simultaneously. And the results show that this approach is effective at reducing the unfairness while not hurting accuracy. I am Sire, and I'm Bert. And check out our paper, Beyond Parity: Fairness Objectives for Collaborative Filtering.